Hello everyone, welcome to another Python tutorial series. So sometimes in Python we want to make a button so that when we click it, something will happen. So in this video, I'm going to show how you can make a clickable button and use the example to show how it works um, in this demonstration. And I hope you like it. So first of all, let's import our modules, initiate Pygame, and set up some constants. So we can import Pygame and from and from random import uniform and randint. So uniform will generate random floating point values between two numbers, and randint will generate uh, just random integers. So we can initialize using pygame.init, and we can set up our clock, um, and that will be equal to pygame.time.clock. We can set the frames per second equal to 30, we want to have white equal to 255, 255, 255. We'll set the width to 1000, height to 600. And the width and height are going to be the uh, width and height of the Pygame window. We'll set wn equal to pygame.display.set mode with the width and height. So now we want to create our Pygame window that we can close and fill with white color. And by default, the color of the window is going to be black. So what we could do is have a run variable equal to true. Um, and to fill in our window, we'll do wn or window.fill with white. And that's the variable we created earlier. And we want while run. So while this run variable is true, we're going to keep looping through. So for event in pygame.event.get. We want to check if event.type is equal to pygame.quit. Then we'll set run equal to false. And we will make sure we write pygame.display.flip. And now clock.tick with the frames per second. And so when we run, we should see a white window show up on the screen. And actually, at the end, let's write pygame.quit. So that when we actually quit out of our loop, Pygame quits with it. So now if I run this, we have a white window on our screen, and this represents the game window. So now we can draw a shape, such as a rectangle or a circle, also used as a button, or we can use an image. So in this video, I'm going to be using an image. So first, let's load in our image. We'll have a background image or just a button image variable equal to pygame dot image dot load and to my assets folder it's called button dot png and I'll set button image equal to pygame dot transform dot scale I'm scaling the button image 100 by 100 so I'm resizing the image to the scale I want. That is, by, that is 100 by 100 pixels. So now we'll create a class for the button. And all the properties and functionalities of the button will be defined in this class. So we'll set a class button. We'll define a init of self x and y. And the two parameters x and y uh, are the are representing the coordinates of the button. We'll set the image equal to the background. The button image self rect will be equal to self image get rect. And this gets the rectangle of the button image. Self rect on top left is equal to x y. And here I'm giving the position of the button. So with the button class, we can now create our button object. So I'll create my button down here. So B is equal to button, and I'll pass in 800, 400 as the coordinates. And so when I save and run this, you notice that even though we pass in our coordinates, our button is still not shown. And that's because we need to create a draw method in the button class so that we can call it in the main game loop. 
So if we go back to our button class, let's define a draw method and just blit out the blit out the image at this uh, coordinate. So self dot rec dot x and self dot rec dot y. So now in our while loop, we can draw our button there. So we'll call the method of our button. And now if I run this, now we have a button on the bottom right corner. And if I decide to click it, nothing happens because we haven't implemented any um, we haven't implemented the uh, clicking aspect. So now we could do that. And to actually make it clickable, we need to do two things. First, we need to find the coordinate of the cursor in the window. And second, we need to know if the cursor is hovered above the button or not. And we'll do both in the draw method in the button class. So I'll close this and go into the draw method. So I'll get the position of the cursor by using position. And I want to check if self.rec.collide point of the position. And this will check if there's a collision between the cursor and the button. And if there is a collision, then the condition is true. And that means the cursor is hovered uh, above the button. So now I also want to check if pygame.mouse.get pressed. We have index 0. Um, if that's true too. So this is the condition we use to see if the mouse is pressed. And when it is pressed, the condition will be true. So for a typical mouse, there are three buttons on it. Um, when the index number here is 0, that means we're referring to the left button on the mouse. Uh, 1 represents the middle, and 2 represents the right. So in this video, we're going to be using the left mouse button because it's most commonly used for clicking and selecting. So if we're one hovering over the button and two we press, then that means that we click on the button image. So I'll print out click. So we notice that every time the button is clicked, um, or you'll see that if I run this and I click it, now we see that we have click uh, in our terminal. But you notice that I only clicked once, and click is printed out twice. So I'll do that again. That happened again, and even more times. So you notice that every single time this button is clicked, multiple lines are printed out. But that's not what we want. So we only want one line to be printed out at a time, and we need a solution for this. Now what we could do is create a Boolean variable. So define... Uh, self.click equals false and this variable will monitor if the button is clicked or not and basically if it is clicked uh, it will be set to true otherwise right now it will be set to false and at the beginning we're setting that to be false because you know we haven't clicked anything so the logic is this we can only click the button to do something when the button is currently not clicked once the button is clicked the boolean variable will become true and then when the button is not clicked, the boolean variable will be false. So based on this, we'll add an expression to the if statement and add another if statement. So to our if statements earlier, I'll check and not self.clicked. And then I'll set self.clicked equal to true. And if not, pygame dot mouse not get pressed index zero then self dot click will be equal to false so now if I run this I click on my button it looks like here this should be self so I run this again I click on my button now click is only printed out one time do it again and again it's only printed out once so now we basically have successfully created a clickable button that we can do something when clicked and instead of printing out 
something on the shell window. Let's do something else. So let's try to use the button as a shape generator. So every single time the button is clicked, we will generate a new solid circle with a random size, a random color uh, onto the window at a random position. So let me define a function, define draw a circle, also the position x equal to uniform, 0, or 100, 900, position y is equal to uniform, uniform, 100, 500, also the color equal to brand int, 0, 255, brand int, 0, 255, and brand int, 0, 255. So Pygame got circle window, the color, uh, the position x, this should be here, position x, position y, and uniform, 10, 50. So now instead of printing click, Every single time the button is pressed, we will draw a circle. So let me save and run this. If I click on this button, let's see, draw a circle. Position Y is not defined, so this should be position Y. Let's save and run this again. I'll click. A circle was created here. I'll click again. And again, and you see each time that I click on this button, a new circle is generated. So this is the end of this video. If you have any comments, please put them below at the comment section. If you have not subscribed to your channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.